use your skills to pay the bills, right? Whatever you're good at and what you're passionate about, because let's be honest, if we're not passionate and we don't really like it, it ends up being just another job, right? Another task, another thing we have to do. I think, you know, as entrepreneurs, it's tough to get up every day and not have someone say, do this and do that. You have to do it all, or you have to delegate it all or hire all. And, you know, think about those things. It's really tough as a business owner to make and have shoulder all the responsibility. I agree. Yeah. You have to be a self-motivator and you also have to take the good with the bad, understanding that this is not a perfect journey. Like you see those posts on Instagram where they're like what you thought entrepreneurial would be or entrepreneurship would be like, and it's like this. this huge like scale. Yeah. It's like, that is so true, right? Like you're going to have major ups and major downs, but I really try to focus in on like, what did I learn from that? Like the most negative experiences in my e-commerce journey. um, Not that I want to dive into that, but like Mm -hmm. that has given me the most growth. So those challenges are really opportunity and just kind of switching your mindset from living in fear of that and kind of just like realizing that like the growth you're going to get out of it is far more valuable than you not starting, right? So absolutely. I totally agree with that. And my 20 year journey in e-commerce has been very much so that if I look back and go, wow, in 20 years, look at all of these worst moments and also best moments and realize how far away they are from each other and how the ups usually come right after the really big downs, right? So it's like, oh, remember that time we did this? What happened right before that? It was usually some sort of tragic something, right? And so we do get that best part of growth when we, and it's growing pains. That's really what those are is realizing like when something's not working it really forces us to take a good microscopic look at it and go wow Mm -hmm. what we were doing before isn't working so much anymore what do we need to do to change and sometimes that's by force right you know so true yeah Yeah. I think too that it's a lot about personal growth like the entrepreneurial journey is about business and mindset and success and all of those great things but truthfully along the way you learn a lot about yourself and those things as women I think inherently in our society that we kind of like subdue or like push down in our 20s you know and in our early 30s as we get a little bit older we start realizing that like hey those are my skills like it's time to just like authentically show people who I am and what I can offer and I'm going to kind of move past that fear mindset so yeah I love that. And you know what? It's unapologetically. I think I literally, I'm not kidding you. When I hit 40, it was like, you know, most people like dread 40 and it feels like, oh my gosh, you're middle ages and that I hit 40. And I was like, I felt a new sense of freedom that I just stopped caring about a lot of things that I used to care about. And I thought, you know what? I'm too old for some of this petty stuff anymore. And I'm like, I want this, this, and this. And the number one thing on that list for me is peace. Yeah, I want peace in life. And that comes with a lot of different mindset work and a lot of personal growth and saying no way more often than I used to. I used to be such a yes person. And it was like, I can make everything work. And I can say yes to this this opportunity and that opportunity going from like saying no to everything to then unleashing the fear saying yes to everything. And now back to more of a what's going to be best for me and my peace of mind and what what I value most, which is my family and my personal like, I just, I like to feel yeah. peace. So when everything's out of balance, I get all a, a little bit uptight about things. And so, you know, just looking at that and realizing that when we get a little older, it's like we have, we get, we have all the same decisions. It's just right. a different mindset of like, what do I really care about between now and the time, you know, as you know, the old is gone, the new is coming. Right. Sure. So 